I have before me the Asus Republic of Gamer Flow X16 and the Lenovo Legion Slim 7. Two fantastic choices. Two of my current favorite laptops in regards to the 16 inch category, both thin and light on the go friendly and have solid battery life, but which one is right for you? Let's kick it off by talking about the build quality as well as you know, the thin and light comparison of these two laptops. Now, first and foremost, as you can see, they are fairly similar as far as the thin and lightness. The Slim 7 feels a little bit heavier. It's using slightly thicker aluminum materials. This is a magnesium alloy chassis. And I would say that the Slim 7 actually feels a little bit more rigid than the X16. That magnesium alloy is durable, but it's very thin. They can get it very, very thin, which makes it lighter, but it doesn't feel as dense as the Slim 7. So in regards to the full on build quality, the Slim 7 feels a little bit more sturdy. Now, in regards to the ports and connectivity, you can see on the left side panel, we have two USB type C's for both laptops. This is also the XG mobile hookup. So you could hook up a RTX 3080 to this laptop. That's an extra purchase that does not come with the laptop. Uh, and then we have an HDMI and then the headphone jack. Now on the back panel is where you're gonna see a lot of the ports on the Slim 7. So as you can see, we have HDMI, two USB type A's, and a power adapter port. Now, as we switch over to the right side panel for both of these laptops, this is where, for me personally, the Slim 7 stands out. You have a full size SD card reader. On the X16, all you have is a micro SD card reader. I really don't find that a very useful port. And so the SD card reader on the Slim 7 stands out to me more. We also have two USB type A's on the X16. Now, in regards to the on-the-go friendliness of these two laptops, the X16 has slightly better battery life with the Ryzen 9 6900 HS processor as opposed to the Ryzen 9 6900 HX processor. So it has a lower TDP, has better power consumption and efficiency, and so you're gonna get better battery life out of the X16. Now, in regards to the screen, they both have nice 16-inch screens. However, you're gonna have a brighter, more color accurate, more vibrant, and better power efficiency screen on the X16 being a mini LED display. Now you will also have a two-in-one laptop by choosing the X16. So the X16 to me is much better suited for a digital artist, graphic designer, or photographer, um, and also has great performance. And we'll see that later in the video when we get into the full performance benchmarks. But punch for punch, I think the versatility of the X16 definitely stands out as compared to the Slim 7, much more of a classic laptop that opens up and closes without being able to do a two-in-one. Now, speaking of the efficiency of the laptop, the X16 also runs a little bit cooler than the Slim 7. So if you're looking for a cooler laptop, then I would go with the X16. As you can see, the thermal results coming up on the screen. Now, taking a look at the interior of the laptop, you can see they both have webcams on the top bezel. Here's a quick sample of the audio and visuals on each of the webcams. This is the webcam for the Asus Republic of Gamer X16 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Slim 7 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now in regards to the keyboard and trackpad configuration, you can see we have a larger trackpad on the X16. Not a ton bigger, but definitely a bigger trackpad nonetheless. Now we do have a numpad on this Slim 7, which is a big benefit to a lot of creators. I know a lot of creators program the numpad and also just the day-to-day -day productivity of just typing in numbers is much more productive on a numpad. You do not have that feature on the X16. Now they both have nice keyboards as far as the tactile feel of them. Medium key press, nice and snappy, nice and responsive. Here's a quick audio sample of me using both the keyboards and trackpads so you can hear what that sounds like. In regards to the speakers, here's a quick sample of the audio coming out of each of the speakers on these laptops.
Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of either of these laptops, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Now, if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, if you're looking for an upgrade path on each of these laptops, the better upgrade path is gonna come from the X16. You can only upgrade one of the RAM sticks on the Legion Slim 7, where you can upgrade both of the RAM sticks on the X16. So definitely more upgradable from the X16. In regards to the functionality of these two laptops, looking at the command center that each of them come with, you can see that on the X16, we have much more control over the GPU and CPU settings. For instance, you can see eco mode here inside of the Asus Armory Crate, and that actually allows you to turn off the GPU and only use the CPU, which helps improve battery life. On the Legion 7, that option is not available. All you have is hybrid mode. Now, this does get pretty good battery life, and it seemingly does well by itself optimizing the CPU and GPU for battery life, as you saw the results on the screen. However, because we have more custom functionality, I think that really leads to having a more customizable system if that is what you're into. And in this case, it did lend to better battery life. We just launched a Patreon here on the Benji Kaiser channel where you can get exclusive access to content that will never be posted on the YouTube channel, live stream Q and A's where you can ask questions via comments and also face-to-face -face live calls where we can chat face-to-face, -face, discuss what laptop you're getting, your creative profession, what you're doing, how you're growing, and really just get to know each other better in that community. There's a few different tiers we have over on the Patreon, so definitely head on over there, check out those tiers. We'd love to have your support and join the deeper community here on the Benji Kaiser channel. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the performance of these two laptops. We're gonna kick things off in Geekbench single core and multi-core, and as you see, for both single core and multi-core, the Slim 7 is the better performer with that slightly higher TDP process definitely pulls off a little bit more of performance. As we move on to Cinebench R20, you can see, however, that the X16 pulls ahead by just a little bit. And moving into Cinebench R23, single core and multi-core. If you see in Cinebench R23 single core, the Slim 7 swings up to take the lead. However, when we get back into multi-core, the X16 trades places, but they're kind of just going back neck and neck. They're very close in comparison. Now, as we head into the Blender Classroom, really punch for punch, either laptop will serve you well. They're only a few points away. But as we head into Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, and PTC Creo, you can see that they're once again neck and neck. But as we get into SolidWorks, you're gonna see the biggest difference in performance between these two laptops. Over 50 points more performance coming out of the Legion Slim 7 due to the AMD GPU inside of the laptop. It is better optimized inside of SolidWorks than the NVIDIA gaming GPU. As we jump into Photoshop, I was quite surprised to see the X16 head up over 100 points more than the Slim 7. I really thought they would be closer, but punch for punch, the X16 is going to be the better buy, as well as being a two-in-one laptop. So I think it's a great pick for digital artists, graphic designers, and photographers who would be inclined to use the touch screen with a pen to work on projects. Now, as we move towards After Effects, once again, the X16 is going to perform better than the Slim 7. Definitely a good bit more around 100 points more for the difference between those two. Now, looking at playback, this is an area where the X16 once again showed off compared to the Slim 7. The Slim 7 still did good, but it was not as good as the X16. We saw about 700 drop frames out of the Slim 7 and only 69 drop frames out of the X16 for B-RAW, and then 4,000 drop frames for RED footage, where we only had about 200 dropped frames out of the X16 for RED footage. That's out of 16,177 frames in the total project. So for 6K footage, both B-RAW and RED footage, 
the X16 is the way to go. For 4K, they'll both work very well. Now, as we head into the 4K export for Premiere Pro, the Slim 7 is right on the heels of the X16. So punch for punch in regards to the export time, either one would do well. Now, as we moved into the 6K export time, you can see that we had about a two minute lead out of the X16. I think that's quite substantial. Two minutes could really save you some time as your projects get longer and longer. These are nine minute projects exported out of Premiere Pro. Now for DaVinci Resolve, either way would be good. Only a few seconds between them. They both have good playback for 4K. And overall, I would think either would be a good choice. Now, which one should you choose? Overall, I really like the build quality, the aesthetic, and the port selection on the Slim 7. It still gets great performance. And especially if you're gonna be a SolidWorks user, the Slim 7 is gonna be the way to go all the way. However, the better performer overall was the X16. It's thin, it's light, it has great battery life, and it has a fantastic color gamut range and brightness on the screen. as well as turning it into a two-in-one laptop. I know I keep emphasizing this, but it really does make a difference if you're looking for that feature, of course. Match that with a larger trackpad and you really have a fantastic option on your hands. Punch for punch though, comment below. Which one would you choose? I'm very curious. If you're ready to make a purchase, links are in the description below and definitely head on over to check out the Patreon. We'd love to have you join the community with us over there, get in deeper community with you. I'll see you here on the next episode.